Configuring Link Front End on vServe 3 Stage 2. In the Deployment Wizard, we're going to prepare the Active Directory. Under Schema, we click Run, Next. Once it finishes, click Finish. And prepare the current for us. Click Run. Next. Next. Finish. On step 5, click Run. Next. Finish. Step 7 asks us to add our admin ID to two groups. At this stage, it's asking just for CS Administrator, but the next step is going to ask for RTC Universal Server Admins, so I'm going to do both at the same time. For that, we want to go to dsa.msc, navigate to our user ID, and open them up. Go to Member of, click Add, click CS Administrator, populate that. Click OK, click Add, type in RTC Universal Server Admins, and click OK. Click OK, close out of Active Directory Users and Computers. Click Back, prepare first standard edition server. Next. As this runs, keep in mind that Link cannot coexist with Active Directory servers or with Exchange servers. If either, either of those exists on this particular virtual machine, this step is going to fail. While that's running, I'm going to make a network share. Called Link Share. And I'm going to share it via Properties, Sharing, Advanced Sharing, Share This Folder, Permissions, Full Control, OK, OK, and Close. I'm going to minimize that, rather close it out, and then wait for the standard edition to continue installing takes about 10 or 15 minutes to complete and then we click finish. Now we're going to set up the necessary DNS records. So we're going to make a host. So we're setting up link.macroconnect.co to this IP address. This is one number higher than the one we used for exchange. This will end up getting mapped back to this front end server. So we hit add host. Now we're adding in web service. It goes to the same IP as the link one did. Click Add Host. Now we're setting up access.macroconnect.co and that's going up one digit higher. This is going to go to our Access Edge server once we configure that. That's going to be vserve4. Click OK. Click Done. So link and web service go to the reverse proxy server generally or in our case we're going to use a sonic wall rule and access goes towards vserve4, the Access Edge server. Now we're going to add in a CNAME of link discover and it refers to webservice.macroconnect.co. This is used for link mobile clients. Click OK. Now we need to set up some SRV records that help the various clients to find the servers. So do other new records. And do SRV, create record. So we're doing underscore SIP internal TLS underscore TCP 5061 and vserve 3macroconnectlocal Click OK. Click Create Record. We're going to make three of these. This is for Federation. We're going to do underscore SIP Federation TLS underscore TCP 5061 and access.macroconnect.co. Click OK. Click Create Record. And finally, we're doing underscore skip, sip, underscore TLS, 443, and access.macroconnect.co. Click OK. Click Done. And you can see the various records that we've got here. We're done with DNS, so I'm closing that. 